for Clinton. I did not expect the great Harvey Specter to come all the way to Brooklyn just to deliver a contract. It's good, because it came to the hot dogs. I told you that was our final offer. You did, but the third quarter's about to end, and if you want Darren Williams playing for you in the fourth, this is his number. Even if you had another offer, which you don't, you can't leave in the middle of a game. I was talking about the fourth quarter of game seven when you're looking to lock up a championship. Because the question isn't do you want Darren or not, it's do you want a ring or not? You got nothing. And I told you that's my final offer. I guess I'll just have to go bring Darren his new Mavs jersey then. There's no way Mark Cuban pays that much. Why don't you call and ask? Oh wait, you can't because he hates you. Bullshit. We may not be blood brothers, but he doesn't hate me. Oh, he does now. Evidently he found out about that thing from last May. How do you know that? Because I was there when I told him. You have until 10 a.m., then I'm calling Dallas. And Mark may not take your call, but let's first I'll take mine. How do I know you're not going to turn around and get him to pay more? You don't. But if you don't match this, you'll never find out. Harvey. I don't recall giving you my key. I don't recall authorizing you to negotiate behind Darren Williams' back. His back is just fine, and I'm standing right behind it. Then why is the contract he signed in my hand? How much did you ask for? Triple. You out of your mind? We have leverage. And what is that? It's complicated. Simplify it for me. I bluffed him. That's not leverage. It is if he believes it. And if it fails, he fires us and takes ten other players with him. Then it better not fail. You asked the man for triple. If I had what I said I had, that's what I'd get. I don't ask for triple. He knows I'm bluffing. Then don't bluff in the first place. I'm afraid that's what I do. You know what I think? I think you want it to fail. I think you're stuck with a merger you don't want and a non-compete you can't stand, and you're trying to get me to fire you. I could bust that non-compete wide open. But you gave me your word. Which is why I'm staying. Jessica, I've always operated this way. It's what you hired me for. It's what you pay me for. And it used to be what you valued me for. I'm not going to fire you. Neither is Darren Williams. Nets just caved. So, unless you're looking to cook me breakfast tomorrow, I'd say we're done. Just a matter of